Hello and welcome to howtodotheweb.com. My name is Michelle Edhouse and I have a quick tutorial for you today. How to add a user into MailChimp. Now, MailChimp is a fantastic email system for small businesses and uh, as your business grows, you may want to add people to support you. So one of the things that I've found is that uh, just handing out my password to people gives them way too much access, especially if you're going to start using something like Outsource Doer or something like that. Um, and do you really want them having complete control? So <laughs> by using the users system, what you get to do is give them access. And there's even ways that you can limit how much access they get. And so and then you can take away their access without having to change your password and it just creates real simple and ease and for the user the other cool thing is what they get to do is be able to switch between clients really easily so if they're wanting to um you know work for you for this minute and then swap over to somebody else then they just change who they're working for in the um um, they just change who they're working for in their, um, I'll show you, let me show you, let's have a look. So here we are in my own personal one, uh, as you can see I'm logged in as WW Websites, and I can go in here and click switch account, and then I get to choose which account I want to go to, and I, it changes it. The problem with using, just giving someone your password is then every now and again, MailChimp will go, are you really that person? You need to check your emails and click on a link to prove that you are who you say you are. And so what we um, what we then get is this space where they're contacting you. Did you get a password? Did you get da 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 da? And it just slows everything down and um, so using users works for everybody it makes it so much easier plus it increases your control as to what access they give you give them so how do you do it that's what you're asking right okay so you go down and as it's click on the little logo mine's got an m for michelle and you need to be logged into your account obviously and you need to be the admin you need to be logged in on the owner login to do this um, and then if you go to account and billing, do, 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 do. and then you go to settings and users, ta-da, so I have me and then I have one other user here, okay. And as you can see, I can just, at a click of a button, revoke her access. So if she stops working for me, if she does something dodgy, if she's weird, whatever, instantly I can re remove her ability to access my MailChimp. There's no changing passwords, no notifying everybody else of a change of passwords. It's just done, just like that. So how do you invite a new user? You click on Invite a User. Ta-da! Simple as. And... <laughs> And then you type in their email address. Let's say, for example, I'm going to invite my husband. And as you can see here, you can add them as a viewer. So they can only see the reports. How many emails have gone out? Who's clicked on the emails? That sort of thing. Um, you can add them as an author. So that has access to reports plus the ability to create and edit campaigns, templates and automations but not send them. So you may want to have control over, you can't send it until I give a permission, so therefore they can go and create it all for you, then send you a test, and you have to then go in and say, yes, send. Um, that That's quite a useful one for a newbie, <laughs> or if you're a bit OCD on the control freak issues like me. Um, that 
So the manager option has full access except for billing, add-ons, user management, and list exports. So they can't take, um, they can't steal your list. They can't manipulate things too much, but they, they can do everything else. They can send emails and stuff like that. Now, as you can see, I'm not on a high enough payment level to have a manager. It requires an upgrade for that. Um, account, and, or you can make them an admin. So that basically has full access, just like I have. They can change the credit card details. They can change the plan. They can upgrade the amount of user. All of that stuff. So, um, so you put in their email address. You select the option, and then if you want to, you can write a letter. Hi there. Click on this and come and be a, a user of my Mailchimp, and click send invite. It then requires them to receive that email. I have the correct email address, um, and then um, be and, and, and accept it. So they then have to log into the Mailchimp account if they've got one or we'll create one if they don't, um, and they need to then um, say yes. I will be with you forever. No. <laughs> uh, so yeah. That's as easy as it is, as it is. and uh, as I showed you before, back to account users, to disconnect them, you literally just go revoke access. You can edit, you can pop in there and change, you know, I've got her as an author, um, and um, I could actually make her the owner of my account if I wanted to. So if I... If I was running the account and then I left the business or sold the business or however that worked and wanted to hand that account over to the new owner, uh, I can I can do that. Uh, I could I could move her back down to a, a viewer or I could pump her up to an admin. So there you go. That's. That's it, guys. That is all you need to know on how to set up or revoke access of a user. Uh, just the quick points again: you do need to be logged in as the uh, as an um, admin or owner of the account to be able to do that. Uh, you do need to know their email address. Um, if they have a Mailchimp account already, like uh, then use their email address and then they can just be switching between uh, the, their users like I showed you at the beginning and uh, if they leave your business just remember to go in and remove their access uh, I've, I've worked with companies when they've they've asked me to to add a user and I go in and I'm like well who are all these people I didn't know they worked for you and they're like Oh, he left 10 years ago. Well, not quite 10 years ago, but you know what I mean. <laughs> so have fun with that. I hope it contributes to creating greater in your business and what else is possible with your business and how can I contribute? If you have any questions or you'd like any uh, assistance, then please feel free to get hold of me. Uh, Michelle at WW Websites. So that's three W's. <laughs> .co.nz. All right, guys. Have fun. Bye-bye.